I mean, this is it's, a, it's one of the kind of issues that uh, this concepts that has defined education. Uh, you know, I, I, thankfully we've got gone past the days of students being submitted to IQ tests, uh, and that was used as a, as a way to determine what kind of natural kind of capability somebody might have. We all know about the, the horror stories around 11 plus and things. Um, but it seems to me that, um, you know, homo sapien, the kind of, uh, the, even, you know, the roots of the word homo sapien, the Latin roots means thinking being, yeah? So, you know, if, if intelligence is about thinking, then all humans are intelligent. All animals are intelligent, you know, all animals think in their own way. So this idea of, of a hierarchy of intelligence, I think, is hugely problematic. I would argue that intelligence is as much about how you, how you can function within your own environment, where your own context. And in that sense, I would suggest that maybe some of the kind of the birds that are often seen to be the least intelligent creatures, probably the most intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, and but anyway, so so I think intelligence for me is not really about brains, cells, and those kind of uh, you, know, uh, you know traditional kind of ways of looking at intelligence. Yes. Certainly, the you know the brain functions in certain ways, and omega three and all these things, and water will help, yeah. But the idea that somehow intelligence is reducible to a biological kind of process, I think, is absurd. What makes us human is is a combination of our biology and and our beingness, our sense of who we are, uh, and you know our sense of belonging. And I think that we need to develop. I mean, even the notion of multiple intelligences, I think takes us somewhere, but it still kind of separates things out. And I, I'm not sure that we, we live or we think about the world and our, in these kind of separate... Maybe we need to change the models. You know, the paradigms maybe need to shift. I want to link this notion of talent uh, to these ideas around intelligence. Uh, and ideas around innateness and, 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 and innate kind of almost kind of biological kind of um, abilities. And often people who are seen to be, you know, excelling in, in a craft, maybe they're um, an amazing singer, you know, we think about opera singers or people who are, you know, very amazing musicians, piano players, artists. So often said, oh, these, this person must have been born with this natural gift. No doubt, I think, on, if, you, if you went on a spectrum from uh, you know, one, uh, one, uh, zero to a hundred, at the extremes, I think that you know, some people may well be able to excel beyond uh, what might be seen to be the norm, or, or even beyond the kind of higher levels of, of, of performance, uh, because they've got certain physical, certain biological advantages. I can think, for example, um, we think about, say, autism, yeah? Uh, we, we often see that as a disability, as a condition, but what autism does it? it you know, it configures people to think in certain ways. Uh, you know, so it's a bit like, say, you know, other, other aspects of your thought process are kind of uh, blotted out or, you know. And, and, you know, you can see somebody who's amazing with, say, numbers or mathematics or maybe visual kind of um, intelligence, yeah? Mm -hmm. Or uh, could, could well, you know, it could well be partly due to a biological but, you know, if you look at the research, I mean, I came across something, uh, it was, I think it was about playing the piano. Because I always felt that people who play a wonderful piano must be amazingly talented and must be kind of gifted. We often talk about talented and gifted, don't we, together. But I read some, well, it said that if any person uh, can get up to kind of like 80%, uh, if they train hard enough and they work hard enough. Uh, and so we can all be opera singers, you know. A few of us won't because maybe our vocal cords are just not able. So I think talent is about a relationship. It's about an invitation. I think it's about, again, back to that kind of people being able to see beyond what they might see as their limits. Um, and if you go back to Aristotelian concepts around virtue, um, uh, virtue, one of the kind of... Uh, one of the elements of virtue was this idea of arte or craft. And I think talent, and cr I like to see it in terms of craft. And of course, craft is something that's developed over time. You know, when we think about people who, who, who are beautiful artisans, 
in the traditional world, it was people who were learning from childhood from their teachers or their masters over time. So I think we can all be talented.